are we doing? Today's the day. Today's the day we're going to head to the studio. We're going to meet Solomon and um, we're going to film the whole Solomon Guru part of the, the project. And um, basically, we're taking it from um, a project which we've made ourselves and we're taking it to the king of all uh, video content, which is Solomon. So. Nice, then we're going to be in a, a Solomon's Diary. We're, we're going to also be in Solomon's Diary. I've got the t-shirt on. This is, a, this is like a stunt in Sweden. People don't do this, take up yeah. the Solomon's Diary. So yeah, it's going to be fun to, to meet the, the King Solomon. Like Solomon. I, I, um, I chatted to him like, on the phone, I think, once. I was going to be in his, his, uh, his vlog, but I think I was really hungover the day uh, yeah, I was going to yeah. do it or something, so I didn't. So. And today we're hungover and, as well. And today we're hungover as well, but I feel, feel better. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome. This is Solomon's Diary. All right, for those of you who are just joining us, uh, I want to say thank you for tuning in to Solomon's Diary. And for those of you who have been with us the whole time, I want to say thank you as well. You can also subscribe. Yeah, hit the subscribe button right now. It is Solomon's Diary. What will bring to you best of entertainment? Yeah, lots of fun. Joining me here today is my lovely friend, you all know him on um, Solomon's Diary, Emmet Glynn. Solomon, it's good to be back. Big man. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Good to see you good again. To see you again. Yeah, it's been a while, you know. Lots of people have been asking, where is Emmet? Where is Emmet? Uh, I keep telling you, Emmet is a busy boy. He's a big boy. He's a big man. He's doing absolutely uh, amazing for himself. He's been traveling. I'm, I'm, I'm looking like a big man today yeah, wearing look at your you. extra tight t-shirt. Yeah, uh, Solomon's yeah. diary there. <laughs> I could have probably got an extra large, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, because the last time I saw you, you weren't as big as this. Yeah. Uh, well, what has happened? Well, I guess I have had a successful year. And with, <laughs> with success comes an, sometimes an increase in, uh, in size. In size. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, that All right. Um, I have a lovely guy also joining me, he's very big, um, I would not introduce you, I want you to tell the people about you. Yeah, uh, my name is Patrick Anderson and I'm a friend and co-producer with Emmet. Um, yeah, I'm listening here in Stockholm, I'm happy to be on the show. Yeah, that's great. Um, you know, one thing about humble people is that they don't really talk too much <laughs> and that is the case with Patrick. Is a Absolutely. big, yeah, he's a big person in, in, in TV in Sweden, Stockholm, yeah, one of the biggest Brilliant. in Stockholm when it comes to film and TV. I'm so blessed to meet you. Thank you. Everything is beautiful. You know, we'll be traveling now, we'll be going to lots of places, and when we get to Sweden, we don't have to bother ourselves about anything because we've got our man, Patrick. Please nice to meet you. you. Thank diary. you. Okay, all right. Great to there be is, here. Yeah, there is something amazing that has brought these gentlemen on the show today. And um, it is something about women, and that is why I'm going to call this episode Finding the Wife, mm. all right? So I would want Emmet, my man here, to talk about it more. Okay. Well, thank you, Solomon. <laughs> uh, well, 12 months ago, um, we started production for Finding Our Wife's Talk. Yeah. It's a film that me and Patrick have been writing for the last few years. Yeah. And we were addressing one of the most central questions of a man's uh, existed one of the most central problems of a man's life yeah. finding a wife mm. you know we're addressing one of the biggest problems that, that man has to face you know success comes money comes eventually the wife it, it's very very it's a challenge mm. that gets more and more difficult <laughs> yeah. i feel yeah. you understand <laughs> i do and so but for not for someone like me really no <laughs> you, I mean, actually, what's great is that you know you play a very important role in this film as well, and we yeah. can talk mm. a bit more about that. Yeah, um, basically, you know, um, you you said finding a wife. It is not just finding a wife; it is finding the wife. The wife. Yeah, yeah, the wife, someone mm. that is actually yours, okay? And you know, lots of people, not just in Africa, not just in Europe, but everywhere, they find mm. it difficult, you know, um, going to a woman, talking to yeah. a woman you know, let alone starting a relationship. Mm. So, um, and I know you're going to be sharing with us some of those things that, you know, lots of people need to, you know, learn. Yeah. And I'm sure you are also learning because you're still singles yourself. And that is why I'm playing a pivotal role in the film. Yeah. Okay, so um, in the last 12 months, 
you guys have been going about, you know, um, doing this project on how to find the wife. Mm. So can you share with us, because I know I gave you some tips back then, which we'd also be talking about today. So share with us some of the things that you did in Poland. Well, I think that like the, the idea from the trip from the beginning was to have like this assignment, you know, to be able to, to dare to go up to, to a woman and, and ask her for a date, I think. And um, well, it's, it's like, it, we, we, it's, it's, a, it's a comedy film. And, uh, but I think we're hiding a bit like with humor in a very sincere like problem that I think people are having, like, especially when we get older, I think. Because, you know, when you're younger, you like, um, you can take rejection in a way, but like when you're getting to it, 30s, it's, it, it hurts to get rejected from a woman. So we're doing. <laughs> He's never been rejected. For a while, you haven't. Uh, Solomon doesn't know what, what I'm on about. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. <laughs> so. Okay, all right, guys. This is Solomon's diary. I want us to check the preview of the film. When we come back, we'll talk a lot more about it. Solomon's diary. Don't go nowhere. There's a few things in life which makes me anxious: horror films, bankruptcy, and talking to women. Can I ask you questions? Is that a yes or Jen Dobre? One of the secrets of success in the boardroom is always to use the element of surprise. And so I'm just going to jump right into it. Are you Polish? You Polish, you speak a bit of English? Can I ask you a quick question, please? Talking to women is like trying to catch a snake. It could be deadly. But sometimes you just have to do it. And I'm going to try and break the ice with some innocent chit chat. Are you a model? I've seen you as a model somewhere. I wonder how Grufford's getting along. If this was a business deal, it would be in the bag already. But this is the real jungle, and I'm all out of bananas. Okay, thank you. What are you guys, um, what are you guys doing this weekend? Just hanging out? Or? Yeah, we're going around, hanging out. Yeah, welcome back. This is still Solomon's Diary, and I still have here MS Glenn and Patrick, all the way from Sweden. Um, for those of you who have not subscribed to Solomon's Diary, hit the subscribe button right now so you can get notifications for more of our lovely videos. All right, I must be honest with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the preview, you guys messed that up. That is horrible. That is, that is not how to talk to a lady. Yeah. Even as a lady, I won't take you guys serious because I will think you are doing comedy. You know, if yeah. you want to you know, ask a lady out for a relationship or for a date, that is not how to do it. You're just messing around. You see that? Those gentlemen you were talking to didn't even listen to you. <laughs> I guess, you know, it's, it's difficult already, but when you have a microphone and yeah. uh, a camera watching you, it's ten times more difficult to, uh, to approach a girl. Well, but in spite of that, some girls will still listen to you. you so, so some of them did, but I, I felt like they, 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 they weren't able to trust us. You know, they, 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 they felt like they were afraid of us. You know? No, no, it's because they're not sure of what you want to tell them. Mm. From the video, you can assess it yourself. What did you tell them? Nothing. That <laughs> <laughs> was just. Yeah, I don't know. Like it's. I think that you know what we did was something um, brave. I would say we. we I mean, we, we did it, Solomon. You got to give us credit for that. <laughs> okay, like, yeah. right, I'm gonna give you guys credit like three over ten, which is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's better, yeah. If you go about doing that, that's good. I'm sure, three, I'm yeah. sure you'll be single for a long time. Yeah. And we just wanted to ask them, like, what is the secret? Like, what, you know, what, what do we need to say? You know, because we don't, we don't have the ability to go up and just say, like, some chat up lines. And we yeah. try, I try, I tried a few of them. It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't work. One of the things that most guys don't know is um, you have to be brave. Mm -hmm. Women mm -hmm. love guys yeah. that are brave. Yeah. Guys that can walk up to them and talk to them. Yeah. And in this case, that is where a lot of guys uh, remain single for a long, long mm -hmm. time. The way you comport yourself is not about being brave alone. There are so many things that are attached to it. What mm. are the things you want to tell her? They said, guys are moved by what they see. Mm. Ladies are moved by what they hear. All right? Because the lady has got all the features that you want. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they <laughs> sure do, yeah. <laughs> She's right got all the features, that, yeah. the right shape and all that. But it is hers. Sometimes they don't see it that way. But once you go to them and tell them beautiful things about how yeah. they look, you know, they tend to want to listen to you more. Mm. You understand? I hope you are learning. So that is one of those things that you would use. Learn how to compliment a woman. Mm. You know, that is uh, like the starting point of everything. 
So when, once a woman is comfortable around you, then she loosen up a little bit, then you can now start talking to her. And I think you're right. I think that brave, bravery is the, is the word, is the yeah. takeaway from, from this, from Solomon's stuff. <laughs> and, and, and the reason why it's great to speak to you about it is because you play a very crucial role in this film. You, mm. are, yeah. you are our guru. You play yeah. soup. You're, you're the guru. Soup. Yeah. More and like a pepper soup, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Spice day. <laughs> Quite spicy. Um, spicy, but good, you know, good for you. you know, so. Yeah, so um, I want you guys to add this at the back of your mind. Mm. All right, once you can use this, mm. I'm telling you, things will start to fall into place rather than holding the microphone mm. and going out there and, you know, being silly on the, on the street. You have really tried, I must commend you. You know, I give you three over 10. I, I think I'm <laughs> going to give you seven over 10 now because for you to have flown from, you know, the UK yeah, to yeah. Poland, yeah, yeah. Uh, all in search of love, yeah. I think it is it is something that is yes. really, really amazing. It's amazing. And I, I would walk you guys down the aisle. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, thank you, Solomon. I think you, I, I think you underestimate just how desperate we are. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah but I, I, I think, yeah, of course, this is a collaboration between Nigeria, mm. United Kingdom, and Sweden, mm -hmm. yeah. Right. yeah. But I feel honestly that you can actually get um, the love of your life here in the UK. What do you think? Mm. Rather than having to travel, of course, we've known uh, uh, wonderful places in Poland, which is really amazing. Yeah. And I'm sure when you go back there, mm -hmm. you'll do um, a much better job than just you know pulling yourself around the streets. You know what I'm yeah. talking about? But I think it's interesting. It's it's a, it's a kind of universal issue. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's you get the same issue. thing that everywhere. That's why yeah. I said it when we started the show that, you know, it is not just uh, a thing that is peculiar to Nigeria or Europe. It is uh, a worldwide thing, yeah. a, a global yeah. thing, all right? Um, but I think it's a rising issue in the Western world, though, like single men not daring to speak to women, I yeah. think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, You know, we're talking about age the other time behind the scene. Yeah. If you are 30 in Nigeria, your parents would have been disturbing you to get married. Yeah. But yeah. I noticed that here in the UK, it is quite different, all right? Yeah. And I think the reason is because lots of people are engrossed more in their work, mm. you know, than, you know, relationship. They feel mm. once I go to talk to a girl, she will reject me. So why the point do I have to kill myself, <laughs> you know, pursuing ladies, let yeah. me just face my career. But you've forgotten that other than career, you spend, for instance, nine to five in your workplace, you go back home. What are the things that you do between five till the next day? Those are the real things about your life, not what you do at work. Yeah, yeah. You need happiness, you need love, you need mm. joy. I've got two boys, two sons, Emmanuel yeah. and Daniel. How, and how old know, are they? Uh, Emmanuel is six. He turned six on December 6th last mm. week, oh, wow. which oh. is really amazing. Yeah. And Daniel is three. So yeah. you're an expert. Yeah, I'm an yeah, expert. Yeah, you know this. <laughs> but I'm still this also yeah. learning myself. I'm still also learning. Yeah. But the truth is, when I leave the office space, I want to go home. Mm -hmm. and talk to my kids, relax with them, have fun with them. These are the things that really make me happy. Of course, I yeah. love what I do. Media has been the thing that I always wanted to do all my mm. life. Yeah. You know, that is why when I'm in the office, I'm super excited because mm. I've got beautiful colleagues around me. And when I get home, I have lovely family as well. So Perfect. everything is beautiful for me. Yeah, you're so in the kingdom. I know you guys have got wonderful career. He's filming, he's traveling every now and then mm. to countries to film. Same thing with you, yeah. uh, a media guru, one of the biggest, one of the brightest in, in Sweden. So there should be a balance. Yeah, there should yeah. be a balance. Right, yeah. You know, you shouldn't just be described as someone who is a professional in this field. Relationship. Mm. Yeah, that's what I think we're trying to change now, like um, yeah. with this with this film. And actually, like for a lot of people probably watching this, you know, single yeah. guys, you know, can take like a little bit of your advice as well. Yeah. That's amazing. And after this episode, I know um, you do the, the needful. Go out there, learn to compliment. You know, I was telling you how I, I dated a girl. You know, there are some girls that have big standard, high standard. When you see them, you'll be afraid to want to talk to them. That's but cool. this, <laughs> these ladies also need love. Most times we are wrong the way we judge women. We think yeah. because she's got a, a big career, a, a wonderful job, she mm. has lots of guys disturbing her. Most of these ladies are single. We have to be honest with ourselves. Like one lady that I met some time ago, I met her in the bus. You know, I was scared mm -hmm. of talking to her because, you know, from the way she dressed, she looks really, really posh, mm. really beautiful, big, elegant, amazing. And I was thinking of her, I was going to talk to her. You know, <laughs> I was clueless the whole time. But she opened her bag and brought out biscuits. She was eating biscuits and I said, don't be selfish. <laughs> <laughs>
I said to her, don't be selfish. She was shocked. And I said, won't you even offer me this cake? You're the only one eating it. And yeah. she said, take. And I said, don't worry, I'm not interested. In it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a trick. Yeah, it's, it's a, a trick. trick. <laughs> yeah. The whole time, I knew what I was doing. So we yeah. yeah. started the conversation. We exchanged numbers. and. Oh, great. Well, so good, you, you weren't nervous at all asking that question? No, no, I wasn't no, nervous. No, you weren't, no. You know, I, the whole time, I was having this battle inside of yeah. me that, which pickup lines am I going to use? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but yeah. Eventually, when she brought out um, biscuit, I said, that is it. Oh, yeah, I'm you good. got it. So, you said, knew. Oh, you're selfish. You know, then uh, when we started talking, I discovered that she's fun to be with the first yeah. time, mm -hmm. you know, and if I'd kept quiet, would have just gone our separate ways without yeah. knowing who she is. And, and what could you lose just like hand. asking, you know? Like, you can just, yeah. The moment you close your eyes to opportunities, mm. you lose them. Yeah. So just go all out. Don't be afraid of rejection. Yeah. You're handsome, you're good looking. There are lots of good looking guys out there as well. You know, go out. And you know, the world is changing right now. I don't know if you have experienced it. There are some girls who would like you and they'll walk up to you and tell you, can we be friends? Mm. Mm. You don't expect them to, to tell you at the first instance, can we date? No. Ladies yeah. will just throw the bait. Where do you find these girls? Yeah, it doesn't happen to me a lot. <laughs> I have to be honest to you. Sort of Has it happened to you? No, I haven't. Like, but I think in Sweden, like the, the social climate is a bit different than even in, in England, I would say. In like Sweden, you can't talk to them. No, don't it's, talk to strangers. It's, it's don't, illegal. Don't, don't go after strangers to talk to them. Is it like, illegal? Nah, I mean, like, it's, uh, the social climate is a bit stiff, I would say. Like, I mean, like, more stiffer than here. Like, um, at a bus stop, you, you don't talk to a stranger if the bus, like, if the bus isn't coming, then it's allowed to say, wait, where the f is the bus? But, like, you wouldn't, you wouldn't just, like, start really? chatting. But, yeah, yeah, it's like, and it, I don't think we like it. But on the other hand, like, you know, sometimes, and I have to be honest, it's, it's shameful, but, like, uh, some, you know, when you're on the bus and somebody starts talking to you, like, I, I'm becoming more and more Swedish, I'm like, yeah, I'd rather just listen to my music. You see, that is where yeah. humanity is getting it wrong. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's horrible, it's horrible, yeah. It's a human problem. It's a human problem. Yeah. How can I not want to talk to you? That is why a lot of people look down yeah. on the yeah, phone. Yeah, yeah. On yeah, I realise, you know, it's, it's safe. train, yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Mm. Let us talk to ourselves. Yeah. You know, I, I think there is an airport that I um, uh, recently saw on the internet. They have a waiting area that yeah. they won't allow you to sit down there if nine other people didn't join you, yeah. then yeah, you are going to keep your phone, then you talk to each other. You have to talk thing, to yeah. each other. It's a good thing. Yeah. It, promotes, it promotes peace, it promotes love. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Lots of people are sad nowadays. They need people to talk to them. Yeah, yeah. This, we're getting more you like this, this is the, This is the, the biggest topic right now. You yeah. Know, the other day I was at Westfield. I went to get something at Primark mm -hmm. um, for a friend. and. The next day I went to return it because it wasn't his actual size mm -hmm. and I met the security guy, you know, this is something that I do, I love to talk to people and yeah. I met the security guy, mm. I, I told him, hey mate, how are you, how are you doing? And he said, look at my face, I'm not happy. The security, security guy? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I asked huh. him, what is wrong with you, mate? He said, yeah. um, he was posted to one of the, the branches of Primark, I think in South London, um, mm -hmm. two days prior. And he said, um, one guy, a black guy, um, stole a towel in the store. Okay. And as he was going out, mm -hmm. someone told him, hey, this guy didn't pay for the towel. And he stopped him. So the guy wanted to beat him up. Oh, my God, yeah. You know, he was frightened. Yeah, you yeah. Know, it happened two days before I met him, but I still saw him. He was still shaking. Two days afterwards, sure. Yeah. yeah. He was scared I, of getting... Yeah, uh, he was uh, scared. And he said, man, I've lost faith horrible, in humanity. Yeah. You won't believe that, you know. I was there talking to this guy. His mm. name is Lancelot. I was there talking to him for a whole hour. Oh, and he was very happy. Then he oh, started telling idea. me about his life. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, you good know? job, man. And he said, oh, yeah. I've never met you. you. You are kind. I said, you're also kind. You've got a good heart. Yeah. You know, if we can show love to ourselves mm. more, then the world would be a better place. Yeah, most people would just you walk know? past him and wouldn't like consider like how is he feeling or like what's wrong with him. Yeah. Now we are friends. We've made friends. And oh, one nice. funny thing is, the man looks like a 35 year old, but yeah. he's actually 60 years old. Oh, ah. he's 60 old security guy. What's, what's he doing? You know, he's a security guy at Primark. How's he looking so young? What's his secret? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, he said he rests well, he eats good food, yeah. he does exercises and all yeah. that. You also hard. look about 18 or something. Sort of. I'm 34. What's, <laughs> what, what, what's your secret? <laughs> what's your secret? <laughs> what are you secret? eating? <laughs> well, um, I rest a lot. 
Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, what do I do again? I do exercises. It's just mm -hmm. that here in the UK, mm -hmm. I don't have the opportunity of playing football. But back in Nigeria, yeah. I jog a lot, I yeah. play football, nice. I rest. And I think I'm, I'm looking way older now because I've started keeping my beard. If I have to shave this off, you'll mm. think I'm 20, <laughs> <laughs> you know. And now that um, I'm beginning to be very, very happy in the last couple of years, I've started adding weight. So a lot of people are beginning to think, oh, this guy is old. But if you see my younger brothers, they look bigger than I am. <laughs> okay. All right. So um, yeah. I really want to appreciate you for coming on Solomon's Diary. Thank this you. is amazing. All right, so the final test that I'm giving to you guys is, you know, I gave you 7 over 10, um, sending you out to go find your love. So now go out again. I want you to come back on Solomon's Diary after you've gotten your date. All right, then we'll sit down with your babes and we'll have a cool chat. I don't know All if right? there's going to be enough room in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> we might probably yeah. go to a pub or something. Yeah, yeah you know? sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think there's any chance that it's going to happen anytime soon. No, oh, don't wait too long. <laughs> Be optimistic, my friend. Uh, Patrick, I believe, you know, he's, he's not positive, but I believe you will. Yeah, I think so. Thank you, Solomon, for having us. Thank you so very much. It is a pleasure to have you on Solomon's Diary. I really want to appreciate you guys. Please keep watching Solomon's Diary. And don't forget no, to subscribe. Yeah, hit the subscribe button. I love you all. Bye. Bye.